the microphone will be activated on this phone without changing anything about the phone, um, so that we can hear, you know, what's going on inside the room, uh, whether this thing is on on a phone call or not. Okay, so what I'm going to demonstrate is the physical attack on Cisco phone. Here's my demo phone that I will show the attack on in a little bit, but that's actually my real office phone. It is also a Cisco phone. Um, you also find these things in various financial sectors. This is a very popular phone to find in the corporate environment, uh, governments, banks, uh, you name it. Uh, at the heart of it, we found that there is there are a series of vulnerabilities inside the kernel of this phone will allow someone to come and, for example, turn on the microphone without anything showing up on this phone, uh, listening to what is being said around the phone even when there is no phone call going on. Um, and you can also use this phone to attack other devices on the network, like a general purpose computer, or other embedded devices like other phones and other printers and such. So, you know, suppose I'm coming in for an interview, I'm wearing a nice sweater, right? everything is very good. So I, I come into the room and I first turn on the power to my homemade thing poner. Right? So this is essentially a little RJ11 RS-232 adapter to Bluetooth that is going to allow me to transfer the 900 bytes of data that I would need for the attack binary uh, to the phone through the phone's auxiliary port. At the back of the Cisco phone, you have this little port here. It's used for a headset and also auxiliary debugging. So I plug this thing in, okay, and then the rest of the app happens on this little Android phone, so I'm going to launch the Thing Poner control program. The phone is going to connect to the Thing Poner over Bluetooth, and I'm going to now uh, ship the exploit binary from my phone to this phone and launch the attack. Now, all I have to do is hit the Pwn button, okay, and the data is now being transferred onto this phone. So now, the phone's reported that I have root access to the phone, so I'm going to turn on my laptop, and I am going to start sniffing the network for RTP packets. This is just the audio data encoded into uh, IP packets. Right now, as we're speaking, the phone is actually taking the mic data and then shipping it to my laptop. Okay, so now you see my laptop is receiving all of this data through the Ethernet cable, which you can, for the purpose of this demonstration, pretend is the internet. So let's stop the capture and decode this thing as audio and play back the audio for you. So this is the circuit board for the phone that I'm working with. There are actually two microphones uh, inside here. So this is the speakerphone microphone, which you can actually remove if you wanted to. Um, and I recommend that, that you do. But I'm actually not listening to the phone through the speakerphone. I'm actually listening to the room through the microphone in the handset. So I actually have a choice between which microphone I can use. We have absolute control of the kernel of this phone, uh, this general purpose computer, and we can use that general purpose computer to attack any other computer on the network, including other phones.